President Pakane led a minister's meeting on her deregulation drive, the third of its kind earlier today. She called for increased efforts to tear down excessive regulations, a key component of her economic policy. We turn to our Choi Yusun for more. President Park Geun-hye says the government is planning to focus on ensuring the public and businesses are satisfied with our deregulation drive. 우리가 규제에 묶여 있는 동안 다른 경쟁국들은 발빠르게 움직이고 있습니다. 이제 우리도 경제 회복과 청년 일자리 창출을 위해서 보다 과감한 규제 개혁에 나서야 하겠습니다. The president took note of efforts to address the most pressing deregulatory tasks and better gauge the public's concerns. However, she also urged officials to tailor the proposed reforms to more effectively benefit the related parties and said Korea's regulatory system should be revised to meet global standards. She added that while alternatives to regulations should be considered, new regulations need to maximize the private sector's autonomy. This year, the government announced a series of new reform measures. For the first time in more than 40 years, the government will ease regulations on green belt management initially implemented to prevent urban overpopulation and to preserve the environment. The land ministry says it will allow the construction of facilities to manufacture and sell indigenous products on green belts to boost the income of area residents. Restrictions on restaurant and housing construction will also be eased. Officials say the deregulatory actions will focus on reducing inconveniences for residents while striking a balance between development and preserving the environment. In a move to catch up with advanced countries like the U.S. and Japan, the Korean government will adjust regulations to permit test drives of driverless cars with the goal of commercializing them by 2020. The government also plans to offer greater support in the areas of infrastructure and technological development. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.